Station for public broadcasting and viewers like you. And by Delta Airlines, because geography is important for kids everywhere. Delta Airlines, you'll love the way we fly. All these people want to know. Where in the world is San Diego? And one of these dumb shoes could find her. She likes softball, rollerblading, and shopping, and would like to become a fashion designer. Meet Andrea Smith. His parents are from Nigeria, and he enjoys playing basketball and football. Meet Adetunji Owalabi. She's traveled to Africa to visit relatives, speak some ga, and is studying Spanish. Meet Caroline Jackson. And here's the senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you guys. Caroline, how are you? Adetunji, good to see you. Andrea, how are you guys? Hey, they're with me every day. Rockefeller. Oh, yeah. And as you know, the one of you that catches coming to San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad. <laughs> so let's get started now right at the top of the show, because it works better that way. Chief, who are we after? This is Top Grunge. Top Grunge. He likes to steal, likes to fight us, also known for his bronchitis. His last known whereabouts? Victoria, British Columbia. In 1905, a woman named Jenny Foster Butchard was bumming over a big, ugly, empty quarry near her home. She was struck with the notion of building a sunken garden in it. Ah, but Jenny didn't stop there. The surrounding acres were imaginatively landscaped into Japanese and Italian gardens, a rose garden, and countless lawns and flower beds. Word spread of her ever-growing creation, bringing visitors from all around. And Butchered Garden still attracts thousands of flower lovers daily. But today, a wilting new fragrance filled the floral fields. It was the putrid perfume of Top Grunge. <coughs> <coughs> and delicate flower that he is, Grunge dropped anchor and dragged off every petal. He hoped to give his boss a bouquet, but the flowers fainted first from his fumes. Gumshoes, you've got to crack today's case. The greenhouse effect. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, try to find Top Grunge and the gardens. Help you do that. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more crime books, and the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. So let's get started now with our very first clue, which comes to us from Geraldo Rivera of Acme. He's got a talk show, too, Ned. Gumshoes, Top Grunge is hiding in a country that sets the scene for over 50 TV shows and movies each year. Films like Look Who's Talking To, Anne of Green Gables, and Short Circuit 2. We're all made here, and there's plenty of space for movie makers, too. It's the world's second largest country stretching from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Thanks a lot, Geraldo. Okay, guys, name the place where Top Grunge took the gardens. Is it the United States, Canada, or Greenland? Remember the clues that we heard? Second largest country in the world, stretches from Atlantic to Pacific, and lots of TV and movies made there. You guys are fast. Caroline, what do you say? I said United States. United States. Uh, Adedunci. I said United States. United States. Andrea. I said the United States. United States. The answer we're looking for is Canada. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. So that means everyone's going to stay where they are. Caroline stays at 50. Adetunji stays at 50. And Andrea stays at 50. Acme Crime Bucks. Okay, guys, for our next clue, we turn now to arf, something... Arf, arf, Greg. Oh, hey, Asta. How you doing, boy? Where you been? What? Skiing? Skiing? Sure. On the southernmost ski slopes in the world. Well, they're not far from the southernmost city in Chile. Uh, hang on to my ski cap for a sec, will you? Oh, sure. Toss it down. Phew. <laughs> that was getting sweaty. <laughs> anyway, this Chilean city's across from Tierra del Fuego, uh -huh. right on the Strait of Magellan. It's a local belief there that if you touch the feet of the Indian statue on the Plaza del Armas, you'll have good luck. So let me get this straight. You've been licking the feet of old statues? Forget it. I may drink out of toilets, but I don't lick public sculptures. Oh, well, hey. There's sound advice from somebody who knows, huh? 
Okay, Gumshoes, name the city. Is it Santiago, Punta Arenas, or Rio Gallegos? Uh, remember the clues that we heard. Southernmost city in Chile, near the southernmost ski slopes in the world, and on Strait of Magellan. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Andrea's ready. Oh, not everybody's ready. Caroline, what do you say? Punta Arenas. Uh, Punta Arenas. What do you think, Adetunji? Punta Arenas. Same thing. Andrea? Punta Arenas. Everybody said the same thing, and everybody is right. Thank you very much. As a reminder, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you very much. Now for our next clue, we go to an average superhero with a above average costume. Here is... Acme Man! Look out, look out! Pow. Acme Man, Acme Man, if he can do it, maybe anyone can. Not so fast, my friend. The salt nut shaker is not what it appears to be. Allow me, Acme Man, to change it while I give a clue to my friends at Acme. Grunt is hiding in the Appalachian Mountains. You'll find him near the place where Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia all meet. Sorry. It's where Daniel Boone blazed his wilderness trail back in 1775. A trail which made it easier for settlers to go west. There you are, my friend. You may never know how close you came to putting sugar on your fries instead of salt. Are you not impressed? Of course you are. Am I not the greatest superhero of all time? Of course I am. For I am Acme Man, and I am going away. Acme Man! Okay, guys, name the location, if you will, please. Is it Cumberland Gap, Shenandoah Valley, or Blue Ridge Parkway? Remember the clues that we heard in Appalachian Mountains, where Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia meet, and Daniel Boone's Wilderness Trail. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. Andrea is ready. So is Caroline. Adetunji is ready. Caroline, what do you say? Cumberland Gap. Uh, Cumberland Gap. Adetunji. Blue Ridge Parkway. Blue Ridge Parkway. Andrea. Cumberland Gap. Cumberland Gap. The answer we're looking for is Cumberland Gap. Nice job, ladies. That means at the end of that round, Caroline has 60, Adetunji has, no, sorry, <laughs> Caroline has 70, Adetunji has 60, and Andrea has 70 Acme Crime Bucks. Now it's time for the lightning round. And you know, all these questions are about Daniel Boone. We'll give you five Acme Crime Bucks every time you answer a question, question correctly. Listen carefully, here we go. This is called, where is it? Oh, right here it is. This is called a Daniel Boone hat. I look good, don't I? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, but you might be surprised to know that Boone never wore a hat like this. What kind of hat did he wear? Was it a green French beret, a wide-brimmed beaver hat, or a dashing black derby? At a fungi. A wide-brimmed beaver hat. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Takes up to 65. Here's the next question. Boone was a terrific pioneer, but he was a rotten speller. How do we know this? From his report cards from misspelled carvings he cut into trees, or from all the misspelled words in his autobiography. Andrea. From misspelled carvings in trees? Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Takes up to 75. Here's the last question. Daniel Boone is closely associated with the American frontier. In what dangerous and exciting wilderness colony was Boone born? Rhode Island, Delaware, or Pennsylvania? Uh, Caroline. Rhode Island. Uh, that's not the answer we're looking for. Adetunji. Pennsylvania. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. That means at the end of that round, Caroline has 70, Adetanji 70, Andrea 75, Acme Crime Bucks. Very close game here, guys. That's the way we like to see it. Uh, uh, Chief? You know, usually the Chief interrupts you at this time, but she's not here, so uh, I'm just going to take a quick look on her. Not on her, but, you know, I'm just going to check on her. Be right back. Chief! Ooh, Chief is late. Guess there's no meeting today. Greg, where are you going? Chief, uh, you were uh, asleep. I don't know what's going on. Ah, uh, well, Greg, I'm just having an out-of-body experience. Sometimes I find it very relaxing to take a stroll. That's a cool trick, Chief. Hey, how you doing, Greg? Wait a minute. Three Chiefs? Greg, oh. So glad you're here. Uh -huh. Chief, there's some really weird stuff happening, you know what I mean? Oh, no, Greg, I'm just mm -hmm. having an out-of-body experience. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's all fine and good, Chief, but what about her? Oh, we'll just do the contest uh, while we're still waking up. Okay, sure, Chief. <sighs> Here are today's winners.
Congratulations, Congratulations to, to today's, today's winners. winners. Thanks a lot, ladies. And if you want to win, write down what got stolen and from where each time you watch the show. We selected four loops and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address, and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Each day, we, uh, allow us. Oh. Each, each day, day we'll pick five people who lift up the and send each of them a common T-shirt. Very nice. Okay, Chief, now explain the third one. Well, obviously, my out-of-body experience yeah. is having an out-of-body experience. Obviously. <laughs> nice work, ladies. You know, the chief is not the only one that can have an out-of-body experience. Let me show you. <laughs> huh? I'm still working on it. Phone tap. Peel out to a western state with five national parks. Hide in the one named Archie. <laughs> Archie got his own national park? <laughs> Geez, maybe I'll see my pal Jughead. Not Archie, Arches, one of the most amazing parks on Earth. It's home to about 2,000 natural stone arches. Yeah, I know the golden arches, but I never heard of stone ones. A stone arch forms when erosion opens a large hole in a rock formation. Harder rock above the hole stays in place, forming an arch over the empty space under it. I'm on my way, Carmen. Sun in my eyes, <laughs> wind in my hair, <laughs> Bouchard Gardens in my saddlebag. <laughs> okay, Gumshoes, name the state where grunge took the gardens. Is it Arkansas, Colorado, or Utah? Remember the clues that we heard? Western state, home to five national parks, and Arches National Park. Uh, Adetunji is ready. So is everybody else. Caroline, what do you say? Colorado. Uh, Colorado. Adetunji. Colorado. Colorado. Andrea. Colorado. Everybody said Colorado. Everybody is... Wrong, I'm sorry to say. Sorry about that, you guys. Yeah, very certain. <laughs> anyway, that means everybody's going to stay where they are. Carolyn has 70. Adetunji has 70. Andrea, 75. Acme Crime Bugs. Now, we go to our next clue, which is a little something different. We've got to... Just stay right here. It sounds like my next-door neighbor, Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger, has her knickers in a knot again. Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger, hey, what is bothering You're you? bothering me? <laughs> Nothing. Nada. As in Nick. Not nil nulla, zero. In fact, zero, zero to be precise. You see, top grunge went to a West African country on the Gulf of Guinea. Its capital, Accra, is closer to zero degrees latitude and zero degrees longitude than any other capital city. Ergo, zero, zero. And if you don't get after that awful grunge person, it will be an enormous no, no. So, you're okay? Well, yeah. Just thought, just thought I'd check. Little neighbor that I am. Okay, guys, name the uh, country, if you will, please. Is it Senegal, Ghana, or Mozambique? Remember the clues that we heard? West African country, Gulf of Guinea, and Accra is closest capital to zero degrees longitude and zero degrees latitude. Everybody's ready. Caroline, what do you say? Ghana. Ghana. Adetunji. Ghana. Ghana. Andrea. Ghana. Everybody said Ghana. G Ghana. I'm glad to say everybody is right. Thank you very much. Good job, guys. So that means Caroline has 80. Adetunji has 80. Andrea, 85. Acme crime bugs. Now we heard that Top Grunge has left Ghana, so let's pick up the chase. Oh, the chase. A lot of people in that one. All these are worth up five Acme crime bugs. Anytime you're ready. Five Acme crime bugs. Hands on the buzzers. Watch here. Listen here. Here we go. Top Grunge ground his beers. Oh, yes, uh, Andrea. Egypt. Is right. He smoked in the gardens of Saudi Arabia. What sea is it? Uh, Caroline. The, um, Red, Red Sea. Red Sea is right. Grunge skidded into a country south of Saudi Arabia. Caroline. Yemen. Yemen is right. Next, he jumped a jet to Iran. What gulf did he cross? Andrea. Persian. Is right. Grunge grappled the gardens to the capital of Iraq. Name it. Andrea Baghdad. is right. That means at the end of the chase round, Carolyn has 90. Out of turn, the 80. Andrea, 100 crime bars. Give him a big round of applause, you guys. Okay, guys, now it's time for the final clue of this round. Which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Top Grunge is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. <laughs> Okay, everybody is ready for our final clue. We go now to an informant from Acme on your mark, Met. 
Ach, the Lieber gum shoes. That Dunkoff top crunch for Flutes Germany's new capital. Actually, this city was our capital until 1945. But the city and the country were divided after World War II. Now Germany's reunited, so the government's moving back. We're spending billions fixing up. New buildings, new parks, new streets. Ah, but with grunge's skid marks, we'll never get the plots clean. Fabulous. Okay, guys, you heard it. Name the city, if you will, please. Is it Berlin, Bonn, or Prague? Remember the clues that we heard. In Germany, new capital city, and was the capital until 1945. This is the final clue this round, so that means... Once you have an answer, lay it down right there in front of you. Everybody's ready. Out of tons, we're going to start with you. You have 80 Acme crime bucks. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say, buddy? Berlin. Berlin is right. Nice job, out of tons, G. Good. Takes up to one can. Caroline, you have 90 Acme crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say? Berlin. It's right. Nice job. And the crowd goes crazy. Takes up to 120. Andrea, you have 100 Acme crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. If you're right, then you and Caroline are going on to the next round. What'd you say, Andrea? Berlin. Hello. Nice job. Out of Tunji. This was a close one, buddy. You played a great game. Congratulations. Got some great stuff for you. Cheap. You did such a good job today that I'm going to send you packing with our new Acme travel pack, that is. Outside, it's, well, it's a really handsome backpack. And inside, you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and the Acme voice identification badge and leave a message wallet. See? This is me. And when I press this button, I hear the message that I left for myself this morning. Don't forget to take that horse fly off the back of your head. Oh, you mean I forgot something. Congratulations. Hey, Chief. Okay, guys, it's time for us to go to Germany. I trust it. Yeah, Chief. Greg, be careful. You're knocking my head with your sleeve. I'm sorry about that, Chief. Okay, guys, grab the hat, grab the door. I got the Chief. We're going to Germany. Here we go. Blast it out. We are blasting out of here. Woo! Woo! So, this button turns off the anti-gravity? Yeah, and this button turns it back on. Okay, here we are in Berlin, Germany. You know where you gotta stand? I know where I gotta go. The chief knows where she has to go. Listen up. Gumshoe. There are 15 places here in Berlin where you might find Top Grunge, The Warrant, or the Butchard Gardens. Let's look at a few of them. First stop, the Brandenburg Gate. It stands proudly in the heart of Berlin. Those four horses atop the gate are pulling the victory goddess Nike. Unlike Grunge, she prefers chariots to choppers. Next, hey, Bjorn was here. Hang around and maybe Grunge will cruise by this remnant of Berlin's old wall. Of course, that's the same wall that divided Germany for 28 years. Take a sleuthing stroll down the Korfenstendamm, one of Berlin's most famous boulevards. Fashionable stores and theaters line the street. Just watch out for big worms. Also on that swanky strasse, the bombed out Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church. Seem out of place? Well, the church is preserved this way as a reminder of war's destruction. Now, Gumshoes, go remind Carmen that crime doesn't pay. Blaze a trail to jail for our biker pal and return the butcher gardens. We'll do it, Chief. Okay, guys, you know how this works. Loot, warrant, crook is the order. Andrea, you had the most acme crime at the end of the last round, so you go first. Berlin Wall Ruins. Berlin Wall Ruins. Nothing there, but we're on our way. Caroline. Trap Tower Park. Trap Tower Park. Nothing there. Andrea. Olympic Stadium. Olympic Stadium. <laughs> Sorry, nothing there. Caroline. Brandenburg Gate. Brandenburg Gate. No, Andrea. Charlottenburg Castle. Charlottenburg Castle. No, sorry. Carolyn? Checkpoint Charlie Museum. Checkpoint Charlie Museum. I'm oh, sorry. That duck sound by Rockefeller. Andrea? Banhoff Zoo. Banhoff Zoo. Top Grunge. <laughs> you found Top Grunge, but remember you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Be careful. Go ahead. Berlin Wall Ruins. 
Uh, Berlin Wall Ruins. Nice strategy. We turn them both back around. Caroline, your turn. River Spree. River Spree. Whee! <laughs> Nothing there. Andrea. Truck Tower Park. Uh, Truck Tower Park. Nope, nothing there. Caroline. Ubon. Ubon. Filch Flowers. Nice job. You get the loot. Got a free, you get a free turn. Go ahead. Free University. Free University. Nope, nothing there, but you found the loot. We turn them back around. Andrea, your turn. Ubon. Ubon. Pergo Begonias. Andrea, go ahead. Pergamon Museum. Pergamon Museum. The Warrant. Nice job. You got the loot and the warrant. Can you find Top Grunge? Bonhoeff Zoo. Bonhoeff Zoo. Yeah! Awesome. You won! Nice Bad job, buddy. You know what to do. Go over there and pull on that shape from the jail. <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> yeah. Stay right there. Jail. Stay right there, Andrea. We'll talk to you in just a little bit. First off, did you know this thing was here? Look at that. Isn't that wild? That's what I ran into. Anyway, you did some great stuff today. Get some great stuff for you. Chief. Thanks for your help in sniffing out the bad guy. In recognition of your contributions, I hereby award you an official Acme travel pass. Plus, this World Band Radio. Now you can get the scoop on what's going on in England, the Netherlands, Russia, anywhere in the world. And to help you find your way, I've included this handy guidebook. Congratulations! Thank you, Chief. You know what this is, right? Here is your portfolio under glass. Thank you very much. Got a pen and paper inside there. You know what to do. Write down where you like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip. We're going. Nice job. Oh, have you been there before? No. I've never been there myself, but I, I hear that it's absolutely fantastic. And normally what happens is we hear, you know this whole routine, right? Hello. You like the end of glass joke? Thank you. Well, thanks. We, we worked on it about five seconds, actually. Yeah. What's that? She's right here. Okay. It's for you. This jail cell is awful. No matter where I stand, I'm never more than 12 feet away from the soap. <laughs> and it's all Carmen's fault. Go get her in Asia. <laughs> okay, Andrea, you and I are after Carmen San Diego. Chief, what can you tell us? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Jordan. Yemen. Caspian Sea. Persian Gulf. Uzbekistan. China. Myanmar. Thailand. Cambodia. Malaysia. South China Sea. North Korea. Russia. Greg, let's go to the map. <laughs> You know what to do, right? Yes. Okay, let me explain it for those who may not know. What you have to do is identify eight places in 45 seconds. When you're right, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong, though, you hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, leave the marker where it is, and we will continue. But if you're right eight times in 45 seconds, you're going to get that trip. Will that not be cool? Yes. Oh, yes, it will be. Yes. And if you happen to see one of these along the way, this arrow, remember that that stands for bodies of water, okay? Okay. You ready to do this thing? Yeah. Let's go do this thing. You guys ready for this? All right, let's go, Andrew. Come on. Grab a marker right there. Let's get 45 seconds on the clock. We're coming at you. Be sure to cheer on you guys. You ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Coming to Nova Sabrina. Russia. 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 Yes. Come on, Pan. Cambodia. Cambodia. Do it, buddy. Cambodia. Cambodia. Hurry. Hurry. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Cambodia. Cambodia. Come on over here. Come here. Come here. Persian Gulf. Persian Gulf. Persian Gulf. Hurry, buddy. Hurry, buddy. Hurry. Yeah, we're going. It's on Yemen. 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 Yeah, Yemen. Sinai, Yemen. Try it again. Try faster. Try faster. Try anything faster. Okay, come on. Let's go to the next one. North Korea. North Korea. Young, young. North Korea. Let's go. Let's go. Sure. Yeah, let's go. South China Sea. South China Sea. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh. Three and 45 seconds. It's a very tough map. Give her a big round of applause, guys. You all right? Mm -hmm. Man, I'm a little worn out from that thing. But listen, you did a great job. You caught, you caught the crook. That's what we asked you to do. Chief, what do you have for? 
We know it's a tough job, but you did find the loot and you did catch the crook. So you deserve a reward. How's this? A new portable CD music system, complete with stereo speakers, a cassette deck, AM, FM radio, and this collection of music from around the world. You made it. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sleuth. Nice job, buddy. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is. Do around the world, from the yes to Carolina, taking fingers of Chuck from Berlin down to Belize, taking for a ride on the snow of the China, tell me where in the world is Berlin, San Diego, feel that going from Korea, And remember, our mission's bold. It's not subliminal. We'll stop you cold if you're a criminal.